Lightly then, please, Sammy. <coughs> Sammy, you're overcooking the kebabs. You know how I hate them. Go get some water! Another of your charming experiments, Skulk? No, look! The barbecue! Neighbors, without you, we were cooked. Sure. Now we're your bosom buddies, huh? Cherish the moment, Jason. It doesn't happen often. You're telling me. Either watch the barbecue or keep it closed. Another gust of wind and you'll have another fire on your hands. Message received, Tina. We will fool with fire no more. Hmm. I think maybe we'll check on you from time to time anyway, just to be safe. Whoa. That was close. And this is the dry season. I wonder how the manimals prevent fires this time of year. I know how they do it. I'll show those smarty pants bears. We don't need nursemaids. Where did they go? Maybe yesterday's fire scared them so much, they moved out till the dry season's over. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never spot us up here. Sleepy. Wake me up if you see a fire. Sure thing, Skulk. That's just about everything. We didn't even get time to tell the bears we're leaving. Think they'll understand the note we left at the clubhouse? I hope so. Mm. Hey, we forgot our sleeping bags. They're leaving? Looks like it. I bet that's what that note at the clubhouse meant. We have to say goodbye at least. Come huh? on, kids, into the car. <laughs> We haven't got all day. No, uh, uh, right, Dad. Uh, what a face. Uh, I'm always upset when we close up for the winter. Huh? Come along. You out. Well, hurry. It's dark in here. It's locked, and we're going to the city. Up, you numbskull! <laughs> What you've done, you bumbling blockhead! Well, you scared me. Now, what do we watch with? I know. How about our eyes? Oh, I should have left you at the lair. Bah! An eagle couldn't spot a spark at this distance.
Let's cook and skulk you. That's what. <laughs> I'd love revenge as much as the next red spike, but isn't this going a little too far? Never. Huh? A fire at the dump. Quick, skulk. We have to warn the bears. Where's the rope? You said this was a secret platform, so I untied it and hid it in the bushes. What? You nitwit! You mean you dropped it? How else could I hide it in the bushes? We were already up here and... No! Uh, uh... Now how do we get down? Easy. Parachute! Huh? Ooh. You only brought one. Oh, uh, uh yeah. No! Wait here. I'll throw the rope back up for you later. You! <laughs> you gotta love minimal invention. Minimals in their stupid inventions. <laughs> I gotta see. Another fire. Oh, no. It's the tires. And this time, it's no accident. Help! 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 Skunk! This time, we've got him. <laughs> Help! Fire, Bob. You started the fire. No, I swear. I just stepped on it. Yeah, sure. You're coming with us. No, oh, it was Spike. I saw him. What a liar. I am not. I, I, I can prove it. I, I've got a witness. Who? Sammy? Yes. Huh. Where is he? On our observation platform. Your what? Never mind, Josh. He's loony. No, I'm telling the truth. Come on. Uh, 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 oh, it's no use. Let me go! I'm burning! I'm burning! Ah, what a sight! Life is good, isn't it, boys? Come on, Spike, let's get out of here! And they're gonna blame the whole thing on him! <laughs> Those burning tires are really hard to put out. Yeah, but we better stick around and make sure they're really out. Oh, imagine what it would be like if the whole pile of tires went up in flames. Whoa. Come on, cats, we have to unload everything into the garage for winter. Worry, Walt. We'll get you out of there as soon as we can. Anybody help? Let me out, please. And where is this observation platform of yours? In the middle of the forest, but it's camouflaged. I couldn't find it now. There is no platform, is there? And you let poor Sammy perish in the fire you started yourself. Then made up this platform poppycock to get yourself off the hook. But there is a platform, Plato, and Sammy's on it. And Spike started the fire, not me. Arson. Setting fire to poisonous materials and poor Sammy. Uh, uh... You leave us no choice, Skunk. As of now, you are banished from the forest. What? 
but you know I'll never survive alone. Take him away. I'm innocent, innocent, I tell you. <laughs> I hope I've made the right decision. Now, what's this about Walt and Tina? They didn't show up to help put out the fire at the dump. They must have heard the alarm. Yes, that's what had us so worried. Well, we'd better investigate. Let's go. Is he? That fire's been out for hours. <laughs> hey! Hey, leave that there! Oh, great. Scott, Scott, come back! No! He asked for it, that's for sure. Hey, where are Walt and Tina? I was feeling so bad about Sammy, I forgot we haven't seen them. Plato and the others must be out looking for them. Let's see if we can find them. I hope Walt hasn't fainted in that stuffy old trunk. At least it is old. Air can get in through the hole. Still, he's been in there since this afternoon. Walt, are you in here? I can't see a thing. <gasps> I thought we'd never get here. Sorry. We had to wait till they were asleep. Come on. Oh. Dad Woodnick has put it on the bottom. Walt, can you hear me? Walt! Maybe he fainted. Hurry! They say if heights make you dizzy, don't look down. By going at night, it's too dark to look down anyway. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Boy, I'm smart. Oh. Now, where's Skulk? Now, Spike, I'll show you why they call me Skulk, Scourge of the Book. You'll save us some, won't you, Spike? No way! I need all the food I can get. Look at my fur! Oh. <laughs> when I think of Skulk and those dopey bears, it was worth it. That'll teach him to mess with us. <laughs> what? See you next summer at the cottage. Right. What are you doing out here? We we heard that crash and came out to see what was going on. Y yes, uh, the, the garage door wasn't shut all the way. I I guess some animal got in and knocked everything over. Oh, I'll stay here. I'll take a look. Oh, what a mess. Dad, come here. Uh, look, look. What? Where? Whoa, Tina, get going. Thanks, Leia. Say goodbye to David. Can you find your way home? Sure, we'll just follow the stars. See you next spring. It was huge, like, like a bear. A bear in the city. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> that was close. Hey, 
Who's that? Someone who don't like rats. I know that voice. Come on! We'll circle and get him from the back. There's nothing like fireworks to light up a dull evening. <laughs> I don't understand where Walt and Tina might have gone. We looked almost everywhere. Almost everywhere, Plato. That's right. We didn't look at the dump. Of course, the dump. But what would they be doing there? Skulk, my beloved Skulk. Perished in the flames and lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Slink, what on earth? Ch 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 Sammy! Slink, don't leave me. You're the only friend I have left. Sammy, where did... Don't tell me Skulk's story about an observation platform was true. Yes, <laughs> but I wish I died in his place instead of abandoning him to fight the blaze alone. I've made a terrible mistake. Look! Walt and Tina! Where were you? It's a long story. We'll tell you later. What mistake, Plato? Skulk's still alive, Sammy. Alive? Alive? Oh, whoopee doodle, fall off a log, jump the moon and kiss a frog. Oh. <laughs> yeah! I'm not a frog. Don't apologize. Skulk's alive. Oh, Plato, where, oh, where might he be? In the city sewers with the rats, probably. The city? Why? If I know him, he's trying to get back at the rats for setting fire to the dump. What? We have to help him. He could get hurt or even killed again. Walt, Tina, you know your way around the sewers, don't you? I suppose, but what's going on, Plato? Well, evidently Spike set fire to the dump. Skulk was innocent. Go see if you can find him and bring him home. We will, Plato. Yeah, come on, Dina. Slink, do you think Spike will show mercy? How can Spike show what he does not know? If Skulk takes on that rat bandito, I greatly fear he is finito. <laughs> This is Skulk! <gasps> you turkey! Did you really think you could drive us out? Save the speeches, Spike! Just get it over with! What's your hurry? You just got here. Shopping. <laughs> Good! Now, pickle them, but save some for me. <laughs> What is it? Some kind of fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yes, yes. <laughs> Down. What are you doing? This will scare them off, and we can save Skunk. No, no. <laughs> Thirsty skull? <laughs> huh? Look out! <laughs> 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 I'm suffocating. Uh, let's get out of here! <laughs> oh, my stink bomb. But, but you? <sighs> I've never smelled anything that bad, even at the dump. It's a special blend, my uh, own secret recipe. But what uh, brings you here? Not that I'm sorry to see you. We hear you're innocent. Not that we know the details. Well, I'll be happy to fill you in on the way home. I'm allowed to go home, I assume. Yes, and the sooner the better. Right. Up in town with your little manimal pals. Hmm, in a minute.
minute, Skulk. After I've had some of these delicious vegetable kebabs. I forgive you for having misjudged me, Plato. This time. I'm sorry, Skulk. It won't happen again. Look at the bright side. It's never happened before. And you've given Plato lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, did I get carried away on the peppers? The peppers may carry me away. <laughs> and how did you get down off that platform? I used my head. What? Well, I'll let it go this time, but don't let it happen again. <laughs> don't worry, boss. You can still do the thinking for both of us. Until things get out of hand, of course. <laughs> <laughs>